Hey everyone, today I'm revisiting the abandoned church. This place, some people might consider it abandoned, some people might not. It's still being mowed around the yard and taken care of as far as that, but there's a lot of serious damage inside it and it hasn't been used in a few years. It was renovated almost completely back in 1998, new siding, because it was originally wood shingles got a brand new nice metal roof and almost all new windows but there is some serious damage across the street is the cemetery so let's go take a look around and then we'll show you what's going on inside with the place this place is currently for sale to be converted into a house one of my friends is thinking about buying this place pretty much dirt cheap, fixing it up and using it as a house. The reason it's dirt cheap because it's still a big building despite the rotten damage inside. It's because it's in the middle of nowhere. It was still being used as a church, but they just couldn't afford the repairs anymore. So it went on the market almost four years ago. There's a giant beehive right there on the cross. Got the big bell up there. And I can even see the big pulley hooked to a rope. I didn't see a rope last time, but we'll look. The flies are still here from two weeks ago. When you're just far north, you have like big clusters of flies when it starts getting cold out. This area has not had a frost yet, but it's been down into the 30s before. You see the siding is 1998, so there's very little maintenance. They should have put gutters on the building. I think that would have saved a lot of the rot damage. Because what happens is, especially where it's located here, this entire hill here is sloped down towards the church. You see, there's a little ditch here, which catches most of it, sending it off. But think about this in the winter. The ground is frozen. You get a warm day while the ground is still frozen. All the melting snow from the roof will go down seep into the basement because right next to the basement is warm. It doesn't freeze up against the basement wall because it's heated. You see, there's new storm windows over the stained glass. These are just, like, I'd say privacy windows so you can't really see in too well. The front has the stained glass. There's a few hookups out here for hoses so you can do some watering. Up here, watering is really not too necessary. It has in rained in a long time. The rivers are almost completely dried up, but the grass is still green because it just doesn't get hot. Back here, there's some new double pane windows. A few of them are foggy. That means they're defective. Moisture got in between the glass. Usually you replace the whole thing. It's not like the old days you could just replace the glass because there's actually a special gas between the panes of windows. Up north, you have double, triple pane, sometimes even four panes of glass. It helps insulate the building. Right there's a fan. Got a lot of lichen on the back of the building starting to grow. Most of the flies are gone from two weeks ago. There was so many thousands of flies clustering going inside that vent up there, but they've mostly gone away. Right here with the back porch, what would need to be fixed here? Well, this one looks pretty stable. Maybe just stain it, you might be able to save that. The stairs need to be replaced, they're rotten starting to oh yeah might as well just replace the whole thing look at that it looks like animals maybe squirrels you see that hole next to the support are maybe living in there I still see a lot of flies on the inside there need some paint work this is all minor cosmetic stuff on the outside right here you can see this is about the fall the weight of a person probably not because you see that yeah, it's pretty well supported if you get a bunch of snow sitting on top of there, there's a metal roof so not much can cluster but up here we can get six feet of snowpack that's why most buildings up here have metal roofs or you're going to be shoveling it or it'll crush the house there's only one basement window don't recall oh is that something here I think this building has underground oil tanks which I think are illegal in the state 
because if it starts leaking, you're not going to notice it. They must be in the basement or sitting above ground outside over here. That's probably where the septic is, maybe a leach field over in this area. But let's go check out inside. The meter has power. Pretty sure the building is... Nope, the building's on. It's probably shut off in the basement, maybe. And these stairs are all rotten, need to be replaced. Nope, nope. Oh, nope, you're coming in with me. See, there's water damage here leaking down on the door of the place. Door's a little sticky. It's got to be kind of fixed. It's freezing inside here. Doesn't heat up during the day. That means it's well insulated. So, you get in here. So funky smell in here. There's nothing to get into trouble. The damage is just in the kitchen. She can walk around while I show the place. Over here is what I was talking about from the outside of the building. See the moisture in the glass? That's not even a big deal either. I've had windows on houses. It, you just leave it like that. It looks a little ugly, but whatever. Now back here, you're noticing, you see all the floor is like dipping there? And you see how it's discolored? The entire structure under the floor is completely rotted out. So basically beyond right here back to that wall everything needs to be taken out here in the basement there's big two by tens holding the floor up all have to be replaced yeah there's mice in here so basically look at this the big stove fell right through the floor and this place was used recently as a church maybe as early as five years ago and imagine someone was cooking here and they just fell through Something must have caused that. I think the extra weight of people in here. Maybe they even saw it go down. Water heater needs to be replaced. That's a tiny water heater. That's got to be upgraded if this would be used as a house. Because up, up here, you wouldn't turn it into apartments. Though. There's not a big population up here. This would be just a big house. Yeah, I can feel the floor is a little soft here, but where I'm standing is pretty stable. That must weigh a ton. That commercial grate oven. Everything is still in here. That's the fan you saw from outside. This building was built in 1939. Still got a lot of stuff in the cupboards. Oh yeah, right here feels pretty soft. All the dishes are still in here. The, look, it looks pretty gross in here, right? What is that? Like a, maybe that's a big crock pot where you'd, or something you'd cook a turkey in. Dog's not stupid enough to go near that. That doesn't look like the same church. Um, 1910. That might be, I think that's, yeah, that's the original church. Because this was built in the 30s. They must have ripped that one down for some reason. Right here, I believe this is electric. It looks like an old propane stove or propane refrigerator. Those are pretty cool because up here, power goes out and it is really cold. Or I guess in the winter, it wouldn't matter if it's cold. Your food would still stay fresh. But I've seen ones that are propane. Here's the regular fridge. Okay, a bunch of the windows are defective up here. Or maybe a mouse, something outside, big animal trying to get in here may have chewed it, breaking the seal. All these pews in here, a few of them could be reused. Most of them could be sold off, especially the pews in the main room. These nice wood pews in this room could go for like a thousand bucks a piece. If you were to sell them, put them on Craigslist. Right here, we got this room. Some nice shelving. Breaker box right here. Yeah, basically everything from the church is still here. Nice big closet. Now, if this was to be turned into a house, I imagine... Some, this room could probably stay as is, but that other room could be broken up into bedrooms. 
it smells like pee in here. There's probably mice. Newspaper, 2019. Somebody was just recently in here doing something. You can see there used to be like a podium sitting here. There's nothing behind that wall, but this could make a cool living room. You could even make a home theater out of this room. Put a big projection screen up. Thought I heard something hooing like pigeons. Nothing behind the curtain, just to look nice. These are actually torches. You fill the fake candle up with oil. Carpet's not too bad. The flooring in this room, there's no rot in this part of the building. These are nice solid wood pews too. They're screwed to the floor. All these would have to be removed and they could easily be sold off. This could be made into like a coat closet. But usually you wouldn't use the front door because it has the driveway on the side. That would be the access point of the house. I don't see anything in here. There's got to be some way to ring that bell. If you saw my original video of the place, there was flies clustering. The whole front door was just covered in flies. All the Christmas stuff you're seeing here is in the basement. What scared you? Oh, she's scared of the statues. Oh, cool. Look at this. Here it is. Look at all the flies coming out. Clock stopped at 8 of 10. That's something I recently found out. You know, like 45% of people born after 1998 don't know how to read an analog clock. They don't teach that anymore. Look at this. Here's an old organ. Got the old two prong electrical cords. So some of the electrical is old, some of it's updated. She's scared of big light. Here's an old picture of the place. Big cross is gone. You notice the lights in here are gone. I don't see any old pictures of what this place looked like. Imagine they would have had hanging lights of some type. You could easily just put something simple up. Nice big living space. See, so you got the stabilizing rods holding the walls together. Got some nice fans for moving the air around. Got a good amount of heat vent. Oh, that's another problem I gotta show her later on. Oh, we can go down there just about now. There's nothing else really to show up here. The furnace down there is like a gigantic expense. I, we sent a bunch of the pictures of this place from last time to a local building inspector and to get some price estimates. This place is selling for about 70 grand. He said that, yeah, ordinarily in the shape it's in, it would be worth like 150,000 with the damage, but the location he said not to pay more than 30 grand because it's in the middle of nowhere. Even after renovating it, you'll have trouble flipping it. Here's the pictures right here of part of the church. These are the renovations. You see they removed all this so it would be easier to side the flat building. Yep. Some more pictures over here. This is a picture from 1940. See how different it looked? Here's another picture. Oh yeah, look, they had big chandeliers in there. I'm not, I'm not showing the bottom because I'm protecting the name of this place because people will show up after seeing videos just to vandalize places. If you know the location, do not mention it. Right here, the floor is soft because remember on the other side right here, you got the oven through the floor. That's still pretty stable. It's not like you're just going to fall in. This right here feels, yeah, that's soft. That's probably made out of plywood and that absorbed all the moisture from the basement, that hatch. Yeah, don't go in this room. Feel that? There's nothing holding up this room. Not going in that one. So this is to be turned into a house. 
some of the plumbing would have to be moved around because you see how the sinks are up against this wall? Well, the floor has to be completely torn out, so that would be easy. Take out the middle wall. You can put a shower in that side. Because this would, uh, or actually, no. Rip all that out. This would be the bathroom door. Give you tons of space. Put a shower in there, a toilet. That would be cool. Or if this is the bathroom door, you could just leave the middle wall in the bathroom and put the sh big sh giant shower taking up that entire space if you really wanted to. There's so many opportunities, things you could do with the place. Right there I can feel a soft too. It's not a full basement, it's just a partial basement. And the concrete down there looks pretty new. It's got to be original. No! Stop it! Stop it. Okay, so over here is access up to the attic. It's just a small hatch. The attic is absolutely huge. There's enough room up there. You could even make that into like six more bedrooms because the ceilings up there are like 15 feet high in the center. Okay, so let's go down and look in the basement for a moment. There's a water pump. Yeah, you know what that is? You look down the basement stairs, probably the church workers. Oh, it's flooded again. Go click on. Because I think they let it flood for a while or the pump was just broken. That's convenient. I don't need my lights. Power's on in here. Look at these massive ducts. Cost a fortune to heat the place. You can see it's wet right here. It does flood. I don't know what all those bags are. Furnace is absolutely huge. A massive oil burner. Uh, that's just a dog walking around startling me for a minute. Okay, so this thing here would probably cost for a building this big, they said maybe $20,000, depending who you get it from. Look at that company that made this. Look at the screen up there. They must have problems with animals getting in somehow. Why else would they put that screening up? Now, you notice there's no oil tank down here. So where is this thing getting its oil? Okay, you see right there, the oil line going in the wall. Yep. That's another gigantic expense. You gotta have the oil tanks in the basement. They're illegal underground because they leak and hurt the environment. Propane tanks are fine underground, but not them. Now look under here, look at those massive beams. Look at it, there's actual logs and stuff because the building is so old, keeping it in place. Right here doesn't look like it floods now. I don't see a sub pump over here. Who is the moron who Look, this room is two feet lower than this room. Why would you put the sub pump in the high room? Just idiots. Unless there's another pump, and I don't see one. There's the water purification tank. This is going into the where the, that big oven is, you see? You look into this room. There's another crawl space. You have to crawl quite a ways to get in there. It's nice to see there's semi-new wiring. You see the Romex? But that's not done the code. You see how they just have it like thrown in there? Yeah, you see? Romex, you're not allowed to put it across the ceiling like that because people are encouraged to hang things on it. By law, you're supposed to have what you call a running board. You're supposed to put a piece of wood diagonally across there and you tack it to the piece of wood. Look at this. You got the old construction of the cross beams like that. That's all, that's all really nice. Got the nice heavy-duty duct work in the place. Got minor cracking here. The foundation looks pretty good. Here's some old stuff. I bet that's the Christmas trees and stuff that we saw in the picture upstairs. Carpet cleaner. Ooh, just look at all the mold on the pallet. I don't smell the mold as bad because it's been colder. Last time I was in here, it was just disgusting. Look at this. They have a central vac upstairs. What that is, you just, you have your vacuum hose and there's actual plugs in the wall. You open up the little flip, plug it in. 
Room, this thing starts up as soon as the button gets pushed in from the hose. Central vac. You come down here and you empty it. So, I don't see a sub pump here. And look what it did to the bottom of the furnace. That furnace, you can tell that thing's been sitting in water, but it looks like they replaced this part, so this thing might still run. Can we see how old it is? I don't know. I don't see another pump. There is no other pump here, which is just moronic. Why would they put in the high room? You can see you got the mold and stuff growing here. You got extra two prong right there. What do you have right here? Is that like lamp fuel or something? This is pretty cool. Just like Wheel of Fortune or something for when they would play games and stuff, probably in the big room. Here's a bunch of children's stools because I think they used to use that as a school. This town doesn't have a school. Most of the kids go to a neighboring school, but barely anyone lives around here anyways. So here's the power box. Other than these minor problems, this basement does not look too bad. There's, I don't see any rot. You replace the furnace, that's about it. Yeah, this place has been underwater a real long time. Look at that rotted out right there. Whew. You got the nice spider. Now there's holes right here going under the floor. There might be a sub pump underneath the floor here, something. Because you see right there all those holes. But it looks like they let it flood. Right there, see you got rebar starting to compromise that wall. If that's not checked, eventually that'll cause damage decades in the future. But it's a pretty awesome place. The dog's having fun up there. I can hear tons and tons of running around. April, April, come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, that's about it to show here. I thought this is a pretty cool building. Oh, this is the central vac right here. You plug this into the wall. Maybe their system is different because it has an on-off switch. Maybe theirs is more complex. Like this right here is disconnecting it. Like right here you have the wire in and out. Flipping this maybe connects them in the wall. The one that I've seen in people's houses, just plug it in, in is what starts it up. Oh wow. Starting right here off, you can feel the floor is bouncy, bouncy over here. No. Stop. Let's kind of check out this room. So it looks like all the power is on and working. Bunch of folding chairs in the back. All right. I think that's about it. They got a modern thermostat, but I think it, that might still be the mercury kind. It doesn't require power, which is good. Now this room, this room smells like pee. We got all the flowers in here. It smells really bad of pee. Real nasty. All right, that's it for here. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.